Union Minister Gopinath Munde is no more. He passed away early today after a heart attack following a car accident. He will be given a state funeral tomorrow in his home district of Bir. The Maharashtra Modi government also announced a day of mourning. Swearing in of MPs tomorrow has been postponed by a day. Gopinath Munde's family knew the worst had happened well before the official announcement. Doctors ne puri koshish ki aur kare 8 baje doctor ne unko mrut ghoshit kiya hai. Ye bahut hum sab ke liye dukhad ghatna hai. Bhagwan se yehi prarthna karte hain ki Bhagwan unhe apne kisi karno mein saan de unke parivar jano ko hum sab भाजपा के कार्यकर्ताओं को सबको बहुत तकलीफ है बहुत दुख है इसको शब्दों में व्यक्त करना बहुत मुश्किल है मिस्टर मुंडे वाज ट्रैवलिंग टू हिज होम कंस्टिट्यूएंसी ऑफ बीड फॉर अ फंक्शन लेटर इन द डे ही लेफ्ट हिज होम एट लोधी एस्टेट इन दिल्ली जस्ट बिफोर 6:20 एंड वाज हेडेड टुवर्ड द एयरपोर्ट हिज कार अ मारुति SX4 वाज हिट ऑन इट्स लेफ्ट साइड बाय अ स्पीडिंग इंडिकेटर जस्ट एज़ इट रीच्ड द ओरबिंदो चौक According to sources Gopinath Munde was well enough after the accident to ask driver for a glass of water. He had a glass of water but then he said he was unwell and asked immediately to be taken to the hospital. Munde's driver and escort vehicle rushed him to Ames hospital within 10 minutes. Doctors who attended to him said he had no pulse when he was brought in. The doctors worked on him for a full 50 minutes attempting to revive him. they declared him dead at 7:20 in the morning despite all aggressive resuscitative measures shri gopinath munde ji could not be revived and has been declared dead investigation jari hai humne case register kar liya hai gurjinder singh hai uska naam aur ye imperial hotel mein kaam karta hai soon aims was teeming with politicians arriving to pay their last tributes man asahni vedana se bhara hai विकास का एक सूरज आज सवेरे अस्त हो गया मुंडे जी नहीं रहे भरोसा नहीं होता बोथ कार्स हैव बीन इंपाउंडेड बाय द पुलिस वाइल दे इन्वेस्टिगेट द कॉजेज ऑफ द क्रैश एट ट्वेल्व थर्टी शॉर्टली आफ्टर हिज ऑटोपसी वॉज फिनिश्ड इट वॉज रिपोर्टेड दैट मिस्टर मुंडे हैड डाइड ऑफ अ हार्ट अटैक His body was then transported to the BJP headquarters where a distraught family and many friends had gathered. Bureau report headlines today. Barely eight days after he was sworn in as the country's union minister for rural development, Gopinath Munde met a tragic death when he was on his way to the airport. His final destination was his constituency of Bid in Maharashtra, but Munde never reached there to celebrate his win, to be with the people who loved him and had voted for him. The world came to a crashing end for his family. His colleagues. He left behind a country in shock. And his constituency in mourning. Kami melo asu da amala गोपीनाथ मुंडे वॉज हेडेड टू कैच अ फ्लाइट अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग अ विक्ट्री रैली वॉज प्लान इन हिस्स कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी ऑफ बीट इन महाराष्ट्र बट ही मेट अ ट्रेजिक एंड विद इन मिनिट्स ऑफ लिविंग हिस्स डेली रेजिडेंस सेलिब्रेशन टर्न इन टू मॉर्निंग अ पॉल ऑफ ग्लूम डिसेंडेड ऑन बीट 
झाले बीड जिल्ह्याचे नव्हे महाराष्ट्राचे पूर्ण मराठवाड्याच नेतृत्व हरवलेलं आहे आणि पूर्ण जिल्हे जिल्ह्याचे आमचे म्हणजे हे झालेलं आहे आणि कधीही भरून निघणारी हानी आहे Hundred kilometers away, in his ancestral home of Parli, preparations for his felicitation stopped. Shutters came down, and tears flowed freely. Amna maza ek dusra ka neta maza se chale lai. Am aaj am ta desh ani jilla ha kajna pasun dukhi dalay lai. Life deals strange cards. Even as some were still fast asleep, Munde struggled between life and death. before succumbing to his injuries gone was a heavyweight maharashtra politician the union rural development minister was being projected as the next probable maharashtra chief minister but the very next day he lost his battle to life gopinath munde is gone but his journey will long be remembered by colleagues and rivals alike bureau report headlines today It is tragic when tragedy hits but it is devastating when it hits over and over again for one of the top political families of Maharashtra it seems the tragedy has a way of repeating itself for the Mahajan Munde family the 3rd of June 2014 was like a throwback to 2006 when Pramod Mahajan died at the hands of his own brother tragedies two political giants one family there can be no bigger misfortune for one family than this two members die sudden deaths and that too at that point in their individual lives when they've reached such heights in politics in 2006 when pramod mahajan was killed shot by his own brother there were those who said he could well have become the bjp's next prime minister and this time when mahajan's brother in law died in an accident he was being seen as the future chief minister of maharashtra desh mein jo ubharta hua sitara rajneeti mein jo aane wale dinon mein hame dikhai dene wala tha aaj humne wo sitara gawa diya hai देश की ये बड़ी हानि है महाराष्ट्र की ये बड़ी हानि है द मिस फॉर्च्यून्स फॉर द फैमिली बिगैन व्हेन वन ब्रदर किल्ड अनदर एंड नाउ इट कंटिन्यूज विद अ ब्रदर इन लॉ डेड इन अ रोड एक्सीडेंट इन अ स्पैन ऑफ 8 इयर्स दिस इज द सेकंड टाइम दैट द फैमिली इज हैविंग टू फेस सच ट्रॉमा द आइरनी इज दैट व्हेन प्रमोद महाजन वाज शॉट एट एंड ब्लीडिंग इट वाज मुंडे हु हैड रशड हिम टू हॉस्पिटल प्रमोद जी का जाना इतना अचानक है कि कभी जिंदगी में सोचा भी नहीं था कि कुछ ऐसा होगा उसके जाने के कारण जो दुख हमें हुआ है उस दुख से हम बाहर नहीं आए अभी तक प्रमोद महाजन वॉज नॉट ओनली गोपीनाथ मुंडे इज ब्रदर इन लॉ बट ऑल्सो हिज चाइल्डहुड फ्रेंड महाजन डेथ हैड ट्रूली शेकन हिम बोथ मुंडे एंड महाजन वो बोर्न इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन एंड देम फ्रेंड्स एस चिल्ड्रेन दे स्टडीड इन द सेम कॉलेज where both became involved in student politics they were members of the student wing of the bjp the abvp in time their friendship got cemented into family ties when munde married mahajan's sister and they became bjp stalwarts in maharashtra after mahajan's death it was munde who supported his family he was instrumental in getting a bjp ticket for mahajan's daughter poonam Munde never differentiated between Mahajan's family and his own. Today, once again the Mahajan family has been reminded of the trauma of 2006. Once again, the primary member, the support, the gel that bound the family together has been rudely taken away. Bureau report headlines today.
how will the untimely device demise of Gopinath Munde alter state politics in Maharashtra? He was the man the BJP was hoping will assume the mantle of the party's nominee to be chief minister in case the BJP Shiv Sena won. He's also the man who bound the BJP Shiv Sena alliance together. In short, that many ego battles were successfully dealt with. Joining us on Centre Stage tonight, and I want to go across first to my colleague Sahil Joshi. Uh, he's joining us tonight from the worldly residence of Gopinath Munde Shaina NC from the BJP is also with us. Sahil, to you first. How does Gopinath Munde's demise just ahead of the Maharashtra Assembly elections impact the BJP Shiv Sena alliance? Because he was the troubleshooter, he was the man the Shiv Sena knew, respected, and he's the one who helped deal with many past crises. Will we see fissures emerge in the BJP Shiv Sena alliance now that Gopinath Munde is no more? See, all this can be said uh, uh, if, if, if we uh, can listen to what Uddhav Thakre uh, commented after uh, uh, Gopinath Munde's death today. He just uh, issued a statement and the important line in the statement was that Gopinath Munde was the important person and instrumental in keeping Shiv Sena BJP alliance intact. Uh, and earlier it was uh, uh, Pramod Mahajan's role and then Gopinath Munde used to play that role. So basically he was the person who used to cement the gap between the alliance partners whenever there used to create uh, any kind of problem. Uh, uh, normally whenever there is an alliance between the national party and the regional party, the inflated egos of the regional party has to be uh, tackled by someone uh, who can keep the uh, hell cool, uh, cool and uh, get the thing sorted. Earlier it was Mahajan who used to tackle uh, uh, Shiv Sena chief uh, Bal Thakre and then later uh, after his death uh, it was Gopinath Munde's role. Now the, now the important problem for Shiv Sena is going to be that who is going to be the point person in the BJP if there is uh, any problem arises because they do not share that much of relation, that good of relationship with uh, Nitin Gadkari. Today in fact when uh, Uddhav Thakre with his family came uh, at uh, Gopinath Munde's residence where I am standing right now, uh, he was visibly shaken and uh, sources close to him told us that uh, yes, uh, Uddhav Thakre is visibly shaken. As big, the most important thing is that he doesn't know now whom to talk to in BJP. There is Raju Prasad Rudi, there is Rajnath Singh, but the kind of uh, warmth he could share with uh, Gopinath Munde, that is not uh, there. And the most important part is that within next six months, uh, in October, September, October, there are going to be Maharashtra Assembly elections and BJP will have to find, find a person who is who a mass will, leader. Very important sense, points raised by Sahil. Who in the Maharashtra BJP Shaina can take Gopinath Munde's place? He was the principal troubleshooter. Uh, Nitin Gadkari has frayed relations with Udav Thakre, who suspects that he's more keen on bringing Raj Thakre on board. He was your tallest leader in Maharashtra after the death of uh, Pramod Mahajan, his brother-in-law. Now that Gopinath Munde is gone, do you see problems arise potentially in the BJP Shiv Sena alliance, Shaina? Rahul, I think this is hardly the time to discuss political equations. Uh, Gopinath Mundeji has lost his life not even 24 hours ago. Let's please first speak about the emotion of a tall leader of Maharashtra who not just represented the Vanjara community, he was singularly known for his agitation, be it farmers, be it the backward classes, be it his contribution to making BJP uh, part of this historic victory that we have just seen. So I think tribute first needs to be given to that stalwart who really got us from nothing to 23 MPs today who knows every single district of Maharashtra at the back of his hand and I feel, find it very hard to say who knew Maharashtra at the back of his hand. This is indeed very tough times for the BJP in Maharashtra. Siddharth Bhatia, senior journalist, is also joining us on this broadcast. Mr. Bhatia, I want to take forward the question that I asked to Sahil. Uh, the question of who can take Gopinath Munde's place at a time when we already know that Nitin Gadkari doesn't have the best of relations with Udhav Thakre. Udhav Thakre was visibly rattled today, reports Sahil Joshi. With the assembly elections just around the corner, do you see the possibility of big fissures emerging in the relationship between the BJP and the Shiv Sena, sir? Oh, Rahul, the Shiv Sena, I, mean, oh, I mean, assuming we are talking about politics because sooner or later that subject is going to come up, the Shiv Sena BJP equation has been a, a reasonably settled equation in the sense that uh, Mr. Mahajan and Mr. Bal Thakre had worked out a formula and that they, everyone has stuck to that formula. But things have changed. 
the shiv sena uh, has won less seats this time the bjp uh, in maharashtra is now saying we are the senior partners let's renegotiate that's going to create a little bit of fissure and that fissure had to be delicately negotiated and the man who would have done it was somebody like uh, gopinath munde who not only was a, a leader of the masses uh, who not only knew the state inside out is the tallest leader of a particular generation uh, and certainly for the bjp and but who also had great personal equations because he uh, had personal equations coming for i would say decades and he picked up the threads that mr mahajan left quite effortlessly so that will have to be negotiated i think there will be a little bit of give and take and eventually they'll work out an equilibrium but here was a man who possibly could have been the first bjp chief minister of this state now do you think the, the shiv sena would ever agree to something like that out. because we already saw sanjay raut suggest yesterday that udav thakre uh, will be the chief minister even though his father was not his name is already being projected the bjp meanwhile was suggesting the name of gopinath munde so two questions will the shiv sena agree uh for a more equitable seat distribution or do you think they have absolutely no option in the matter in this election no uh you know circumstances change i mean uh, when you present this in front of the shiv sena i'm not saying i'm not speaking on behalf of a or b but i'm just projecting that if you present this that the shiv sena has done uh, slightly less uh i'm well than the bjp you have to keep on now adjusting the equations the shiv sena is a very junior partner on the nation on the national level but quite a strong partner at the state level so it would have been a very difficult task but if indeed the bjp would have had somebody it would have been somebody like gopinath munde now gopinath munde had very great strengths going for him uh, great diplomatic skills fantastic uh, equation with workers of every kind tallest leader in the party uh, and uh, most importantly great equation at the center so you know uh, a unique character a unique politician the likes of which is not difficult or not easy to get in state politics and certainly not in maharashtra for a long time i would say after the sharad pawar generation this is the new generation and he was certainly the tallest among them well pramod mahajan vilas rao deshmukh gopinath munde all leaders from that generation unfortunately now no more sahil the question that siddharth builds is an important question the question of who can take gopinath munde's place you've got uh, nitin gadkari who's a senior minister now in the modi government former president of the bjp would he be interested in going back working full time in maharashtra politics or is that something he thinks he's gone beyond there's also devinder fadnavis who's a blue eyed boy of narendra modi uh, beloved by the sang do you think he could step in who could play the role that gopinath munde played of acting as the intermediary or acting as the go between person especially when there was a problem in the alliance see there are so many people in bjp who are ready to do uh, what uh, gopinath munde used to do but uh, the thing is that gopinath munde had got a stature in the party what uh, siddharth uh, just a while back was mentioning that he had excellent relationship uh, in the in the center he had a good rapo with uh, the thakrees that kind of role is that kind of person is difficult to get nitin gadkari would have been the only person who could have uh, uh, taken that particular role but we had seen in the past that uh, the the relations are so strained between uh, uddhav thakre and nitin gadkari that now suppose if they have to continue with the alliance as smoothly as it used to be earlier then both of them will have to uh, get their egos down and will have to sit across the table and talk to each other but yes devendra fadnavis is the person with whom uh, thakre's uh, 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 uddhav thakre speaks quite well uh, but he doesn't have that much of command in the central politics uh, but yes that uh, the assembly elections are going to be challenged and this is the time when uh, shiv sena bjp alliance has the chance after 15 years that there is a possibility that their government could be possible can be possible they, they there is a possibility that uh, they can see that they can defeat uh, the well, ruling yeah. congress and cp alliance and at this point of time they have to forget what has happened in the past and will have to come together so uh, the situation will bring them together and someone will have to play that role either it is devendra fadnavis or nitin gadkari but someone will have to okay. play that role even uddhav thakre will have to change his stand of uh, style of politics the way he used to deal with gopinath munde will not be possible to deal with the other bjp leaders shaina so you know the, the munde mahajan kind of family ideas. really well with gopinath munde's uh, demise how do you see political equations change and how do you see the relationship between the bjp and the shiv sena now 
going forward ahead of these crucial assembly elections. You have been speaking to members of uh, the Munde Mahajan family and they would be doubly distraught because this is not the first time tragedy has struck in this fashion. They had Pramod Mahajan taken away from them violently and suddenly and now the same thing happening with Gopinath Munde. You know, Rahul, just day before, uh, Pankaja, who's his daughter, Mundeji and myself, we were talking and he was saying how he is so keen to come back to Maharashtra politics. And it's something that uh, comes so naturally to him, the home state. I think that uh, really, if Maharashtra has to pay a tribute to Gopinath Munde, it would be to see that every single Maharashtrian who lives here crawls of people as in public and lacks of karyakartas actually make sure that we are on the road to progress because that would be the best shraddhanjali and the best way to uh, have his peace i don't really want to comment on politics today there's too much emotion flowing too much emotion flowing china not wanting to comment on politics and which can be completely understood those are questions that are bound to arise but from the bjp's perspective and from the perspective of those who knew and loved Gopinath Munde, this is a moment of mourning. Just when he'd been out in the wilderness for a very long time, life seemed to be coming back together like a dream. With the BJP and the Shiv Sena doing as well as they did in the Lok Sabha elections, which could have been a precursor for what was to follow in the assembly elections in a couple of months from now, they can have, there could not possibly have been a worse time for the BJP uh, and a massive, massive loss to the BJP Shiv Sena Mahayuti. For the time being, Shaina NC, Sahil Joshi and Siddharth Bhatia for joining us with your thoughts. Thank you very much. Gopinath Munde was a man who rose through the ranks of the Sangh Parivar to his present position as the Union Rural Development Minister. He was a typical grassroots Maharashtra leader and was being tipped for the top post in the state. We leave you with memories of the man who literally brought the Mahayuti together and played a crucial role in the BJP Shiv Sena sweeping the Lok Sabha elections in Maharashtra. He never intended to be a politician. Till his college days, Gopinath Munde was just another ambitious Maharashtran kid looking at making it big. Ironically, it was after he met this man, Pramod Mahajan, his friend, his political mentor, his future brother-in-law, that Munde turned towards politics. Ironic, because just like Munde, Mahajan's life too tragically ended after he was shot dead by his brother in 2006. As a member of the BJP student wing, ABVP, Munde took part in the agitation against emergency imposed by Indira Gandhi. He even spent time in Nashik Central Jail until the emergency was lifted. He rose swiftly in RSS, leading the Pune city student cell before being appointed the president of the Maharashtra unit of the BJP's youth wing. The entry into mainstream politics came in 1980 with his entry into the Maharashtra assembly. He was elected four more times till 2009. As leader of the opposition till 1995, Munde was the deputy chief minister in the Manohar Joshi government. He was elected to Lok Sabha in 2009 and then again this year, earning a place for himself in the Narendra Modi government. Interestingly, Munde and Nitin Gadkari, the man who announced his demise, were traditional rivals in Maharashtra even leading to Munde's marginalization in the state for a while. The death came when Munde had returned to the limelight after his big victory in Bede, even being pegged as one of the top contenders for the Maharashtra chief ministerial post in the future. Gopinath Munde is survived by his wife and three daughters.